at the very dawn of creation, within the first family on earth, tragedy struck when Cain killed Abel. For their parents, Adam and Eve, this was the ultimate trauma. One child murdered, the other a murderer. How did they respond? The Bible does not record a single word that they uttered. It tells us about what they did. They summoned the strength to go on. They had another child. And so mankind throughout all of the ages has been a product of their action. Viktor Frankl survived Auschwitz and Dachau to discover that his family had perished. He summoned the strength to go on. He fathered the school of logotherapy and millions have benefited from his teachings and writings. Thomas Bergenthal was taken into Auschwitz at the age of 10. He was one of only three child survivors of a death march. He summoned the strength to go on. He became a judge at the International Court of Human Rights. Ben Helfgott lost his father, his mother, and his youngest sister. He endured the horrors of Buchenwald and Theresienstadt. He summoned the strength to go on. He represented Britain at the Olympics, and he continues to be a source of great inspiration to us all. In my own family, my great uncle Mottel, Rabbi Mottel Katz, who was one of the heads of the famous Tells Yeshiva in Lithuania, lost his wife, his 10 children, and all of his students. He summoned the strength to go on. He rebuilt his life, and he rebuilt his yeshiva in America. Like Adam and Eve before them, thousands of heroic Holocaust survivors did not always have much that they wanted to talk about, but they all did an incredible amount. Their response to the Holocaust was action, and our response to them must be action. Action to prevent it ever happening again. Action to initiate acts of education, to inspire, to legislate. Action to be there for the victims of contemporary genocide, Action to accept the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's definition of anti-Semitism. Action to create a world-class National Holocaust Museum and Learning Center in London for the UK. If we genuinely want to guarantee that the legacy of our outstanding and wonderful survivors will be kept, we need to be mindful of the teachings of the Talmud, which says, Loha Midrash Ikar, Ela Hama'ase. It's not what you think and say that counts, rather, what you will do to change the world. <laughs>